Welcome to the second part of Rehab Medical's CRT Awareness Podcast. In this segment, we'll be chatting with sales leaders and clinicians as they dive into how Rehab Medical cultivates and executes on its Improve Lives mission to ensure individuals like you have access to mobility freedom. Let's get to it. Let's just start with having you help us understand how does the sales function and how has it been so key to the growth of Rehab Medical? Yeah, so the sales function, you know, of our company is, is you know, we say, you know, it's a, you know, obviously a sales function, but we are also master educators. And, and not only are we master educators, but we're also uh, really in touch and really in tune with our patients. So when you, when you take a team who is as talented as ours and, you know, they feel you know, the, the passion that we have, you know, for our patients, um, you know, that breeds the, you know, that kind of just breeds the success that you, you know, that you see. So our sales function, you know, um, you know, when you look at, you know, just how we operate and how we operate is so, you know, different from the industry, you know, it was basically born out of necessity. Um, because when we decided we were going to do, you know, you know, start and jump into the CRT, uh, arena several, you know, obviously back in 2012, um, you know, we didn't have a lot of clinicians. We didn't have a lot of clinical experience, but what we were really good at is navigating the paperwork process and working with our doctor's offices. And so as we started to build, you know, you know, start to build our clinical knowledge, we, we were able at that point to combine the best of both worlds. So Yes, rehab medical. We're going to be the fastest in the industry, but we don't skip out on you know quality. Um, you know, I would also dare to say that we probably have you know with our company probably the more ATPs than you know probably besides the you know our, our biggest competitors you know in the industry. So um, you know that sales function is you know we move we move the process along uh, very very quickly. Um, we don't apologize for that because we want to we want to take care of patients in the fastest way the fastest and most efficient way possible. And how would you describe the overarching difference of the way rehab medical goes to market versus your competitors? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of other companies, they'll have their clinicians, um, they'll have their clinicians and they handle, you know, the referral from, you know, from A to Z, <laughs> whereas we have, you know, our sales team, you know, and some of them are ATPs and some of them are not, but our team, what they'll do is we'll go out and educate, um, our offices. You got to think, you know, in this industry, there's, you know, there's there's a lot of patients that qualify for better pieces of equipment for, you know, for, you know, for equipment that it's just not readily known. A lot of people don't know the ins and outs of the local coverage determination set forth by Medicare, you know, like we do. We study those and we, we really, you know, honed in on that. When you compare us to our competition, our sales team, you know, that are, that, that's going out, they know that backwards and forwards and be able to, to really paint that good picture for our clinicians as to who qualifies for what. And so, like I said earlier, you know, our sales team, obviously, you know, they're called sales reps, but they're, like I said, they're master educators. We're constantly educating on who qualifies. But then also we have also perfected, uh, I won't say perfected because the perfection is a destination. We work constantly in, you know, um, you know, just on a journey to, to make ourselves better. We want to be, you know, faster. And so that's what they do. They drive that process um, day in and day out. And I tell my team this is, you know, I say, listen, at the end of the day, every day, if you have left something on your plate um, for this patient, in other words, you, you needed to do something for this patient to move this patient's claim along in the process and you haven't done it, you have failed that patient for the day. And, and when you say it, you know, so when you say that, you know, it's powerful because who wants to fail? No one. But you failed that patient that one day that you left something on your plate. Keith, you all at Rehab Medical seem to provide excellence with speed. Uh, and your sales structure seems to be a key point in how you serve patients at a faster rate than your competition. Can you share why this is such an important goal for you leading sales? Yeah, imagine this. We were, we're, you know, obviously things are, you know, kind of ran it back up with this Delta variant. But last year, um, uh, able-bodied people were cooped up in our house and we all lost our collective minds. 
<laughs> we went crazy. Um, and, and we're able by people. We were locked up basically. Everything was on lockdown. We were cooped up in our house. Imagine if that was your life. And so imagine if that's just your life forever. And imagine, you know, you having to basically deal with that. And so the reason why speed is so important to us is because we want to provide that peace of mind for our patients and, you know, to, to be able to, you know, be able to move around their house, be able to clean their own house, cook their own meals, um, you know, turn their own television on. I mean, go outside. I mean, we, we take that for granted, how important going out, we, 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 we get mad, we say, I'm gonna, I got to step outside and get a breath of fresh air. And we, and we take that for granted. Okay. Imagine if that was taken from you. And so every day um, that you, you, every day that we can shave off the process, every week that we can shave off the process to take care of our patients, that's what's important to us. Absolutely. And the rehab medical difference, it's a mantra that lives in your team. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, I mean, we just we just we, we want to take care of your patients from A to Z, um, so we can we can handle. There's 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 not a capability, um, there's there's not a situation too big for us, um, and we're gonna handle, you know, we're gonna handle, you know, each and every case. Um, we're gonna we're gonna tailor that to the person and handle each and every case with all due speed and respect. Um, the rehab medical difference, and so we use technology. You know, our chief technology officer has has really gone above and beyond what we could have ever imagined, you know, just with our CRM platform. And, you know, you, you know, everyone in the process has visibility. We have, you know, uh, apps and features on our app to where our clinicians can have visibility, our patients can have visibility. All right. You, you, no one wants that visibility. I'm not going to say that people don't want the visibility. But when you have that many people, you know, looking at what you're doing, you're kind of in a fishbowl, right? Um, there's no curtains. Um, and that forces us to be better. Um, that forces us to, hey, you know, if I know my clinician can in real time see where we are in the process, you know, I can't have an off day. I can't, you know, you know, I, I can't not do what I need to do today because, you know, the those that extra visibility, you know, as that extra accountability. And so that, I think that's the difference. I think, you know, with our technology, I think that's the difference. And I also think our people, I mean, we have some of the most amazing people on our team and, you know, a lot of us, even including myself, you know, have, you know, people in our families, you know, that have, you know, that we've worked with, um, not just work, but again, in our families, you know, to, to provide complex wheelchairs for, um, to, to provide some type of CRT for. And, and so we see that struggle. And, and, and I think, again, I think that just separates us from, and it, and it may not, that may not separate us, you know, uh, you know, other people have it, um, uh, you know, but I just think using that in our technology is, uh, is key to, to, to how, and, uh, how we got to where we are today. Hmm. So good. Before we move on to your team members, Kenneth and Ryan, let's um, transition with some highlights about rehab medical and CRT and really focus on having you share what the patient or clinician may experience when working with rehab medical that they typically don't experience anywhere else, any of your competitors. First and foremost, we have, we have, we have a standard. One of the things that I set, for, I set out to do um, you know, a couple of years ago is you know, I would say, I would say, gosh, it's, it's extremely unfair that we can have a patient in Salt Lake city, uh, work with our company and a patient in Tallahassee, Florida, work with our company and have a completely different experience. And so since then, you know, what we've, what we've done, you know, myself, along with the help of our sales leaders on a cause, we set forth for fundamentals that, you know, we, we, um, we really work with our team to really build um, just ba a basic standard, um, you know, basic standard. And we and we metric everything. So with that, um, the I would say the biggest difference is that fundamentally, OK, fundamentally, you'll get the exact same thing again. And as example from, Salt, you know, if you're in Salt Lake City, you know, 
you're going to get basically the same thing as if you were in Jacksonville, Florida. The difference is, are, yeah, so we have salespeople with great personalities and what you would think of is, you know, when you're looking at or thinking about, you know, what a sales rep is. Yeah, we have some of those. <laughs> we have, you know, some of those high energy, big personality people. But guess what? We also have people who don't have that, I should say. Um, but at the same time, you know, from rep A to rep Z, fundamentally, every patient should get, um, you know, um, a, a lot of the, the same uh, experience or experiences um, across. It doesn't matter who the who the person is. Well, Keith, thank you. The mission improving lives sure shines through the sales um, side of the business as well. So thank you for this. And we're going to spend some time now with Rehab Medical's regional sales directors, Kenneth Flaming and Ryan Cummings. Kenneth, I'd love for you to share with us what distinguishes a CRT product versus a standard wheelchair? So some of the basic differences, you know, the fact that it's a custom piece of equipment and it's essentially made to fulfill the needs of one specific individual as opposed to a standard device, which is designed to be average, right? Fit an average person, average height, average weight, you know, average leg lengths, average hip widths. Um, and, and it, you know, it comes in a box, comes out of a box and it goes straight to a client. A, a, a piece of CRT, a piece of complex rehab technology is going to require an evaluation from an assistive technology professional, typically also going to require an evaluation from a physical or occupational therapist that has experience in this setting. And then, of course, there's the you know, receipt of that product, which is you know, a configuration, a fitting, different adjustments, and different programmings. All of this tailored to dial in, you know, and, and meet the needs of, you know, these individual users, which, you know, as we know from client to client varies greatly from a 20 year old, you know, client with a spinal cord injury to, you know, an, an 80 year old client with Parkinson's, um, you know, the, the types of equipment, what they need and what they can handle, you know, very much differs. And so, you know, CRT allows us ability, you know, essentially to dial that in and, and Keith did such a great job kind of talking about, you know, some of the goals that we're trying to meet and, and, and you know, create as much access as we possibly can, you know, for, for our patients and CRT allows us to do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Ryan, we'd love for you to add your thoughts on distinguishers as well. I would just say um, from a complex rehab technology standpoint, especially from a mobility perspective, you know, we're trying to produce the best clinical outcome uh, for every patient that we're referred to. And CRT gives us a platform to be able to do that. The configurability of the complex rehab technology products that we can supply um, is almost endless. You know, um, the sales directors, especially when it comes to our new hire orientation, when we're bringing on new sales reps, we kind of kid around, but there is very much some truth to this that, for instance, if you if you referred me a patient who had a need for a complex power wheelchair, and as long as they've got the mental capacity to drive it, we're going to figure out a way to position them to be able to drive the equipment, whether they've got function in certain aspects of their body or not. Uh, standard wheelchairs, you just can't accomplish those types of setups for those types of individuals. And for me, that is what goes a long way in terms of distinguishing a CRT product from a standard from a standard wheelchair. Help us understand what qualifies someone for a CRT product. So, great question. Um, and this question is could be considered somewhat controversial in the industry. But for, for me, if, if I'm referred to an individual that has any sort of need from an assistive technology standpoint, then they're a great candidate for a CRT product. You know, there is a common misnomer in the world of CRT that diagnosis is the be all end all in terms of qualifications. And I'm here to tell you that's just simply not the case. If you have somebody that has a need for assistive technology, Rehab Medical will go above and beyond to try to figure out how we can get that patient qualified for whatever product is that's going to improve their life within the confines of the uh, coverage determination guidelines through third-party payer. We are above all else a patient advocate, and we will do everything we can to put the patient in the best piece of equipment possible every single time. 
Thank you for that. And Kenneth, having access to a custom wheelchair is very important for those who need it. However, some vendors or many competitors of yours don't have these to offer. Talk about how valuable it is to be able to have CRT products to help those you serve. Yeah, it's absolutely crucial. When you look at a company, you know, any company in general or company that, you know, your provider or you choose to work with, what you would hope for is that they have access to, you know, essentially almost everything out there, right? And so, you know, when you're looking, you know, and Ryan just did a great job of, of explaining, you know, how we how we look at things to make sure that we're providing or we have the ability to provide, you know, anything and everything that we can. Um, so when we get these referrals, you know, you, you ask how valuable is it to have access to the range of CR pre, uh, CRT products that we have, and so when we get a referral, we have so much training on this, you know, we go through the steps we need to, to ensure that we're putting the patient in the most optimal piece of equipment out there. Whereas, you know, you might see some, you know, other companies in the industry, maybe they don't have access to CRT and that's just not their business. Or, you know, other companies like Ryan said, think that, you know, this is very much diagnosis driven. So, you know, when we're, you know, when we're, you know, given the opportunity to work with a client, um, you know, I think the value we bring to the table is enormous in that regard, that we will do everything we possibly can to ensure that that individual has the, you know, best possible piece of equipment that they can get, you know, to meet their needs. And so, um, you know, I, I think that's obviously incredibly important. Okay, guys, we love to hear stories of impact. So can you share a story about a patient who experienced a life-changing improvement after receiving a custom wheelchair? And I'll let you pick who wants to go first. Ryan, you go ahead. Okay. Um, and, and Keith jogged my memory of an individual that I helped uh, approximately seven years ago in rural Kentucky. It was um, She was a 72-year-old female uh, with a history of CVA, uh, right side hemiplegia in both upper and lower extremities, and was completely non-ambulatory and bedbound. She did not have the resources um, she needed to be able to be ambulatory in the in the home, nor did she have the caregiver or family support to help her be ambulatory in the home. And essentially, she was bedridden, except for a couple of times a day when a caregiver would come by the house to take care of some ADL caregiver duties. It was a pretty, um, for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, sad situation. This um, individual was you know, still sound of mind um, and, and was very sharp. And you know, we, we were referred to her by a traveling physician's outfit who covered that part of rural Kentucky. And we were given the opportunity to work with this individual. Um, our ATPs did a fantastic job of coming up with a configuration on a complex power wheelchair to uh, make transferring in and out of the bed safe and very feasible uh, and easy on her caregivers. And we were able to put this individual in a position to be able to go outside by herself for the first time in six months upon delivery of the power wheelchair. And it was one of the most powerful things that I have ever been lucky to be witness to in my 15 years of experience. Wow. What a story. Thank you for sharing that, Ryan. I'll tell you something that's exciting. And, you know, these guys, Kenneth and Ryan, um, you know, they've been far closer to it from the patient standpoint than I've been, being that, you know, they've been out and, and, and inspecting equipment and, and evaluating clients um, far more than I have. What I get an opportunity to do and, and, and see is, you know, just the stories, like, for example, I can't tell you how many times we've worked with patients who get discharged from a skilled nursing facility or a hospital and they're in they're in the worst possible piece of equipment that you could imagine. Um, you know, potentially causing bed sores, pain and and you know, and then you know, future uh injuries, uh so to speak. You know, we we, we deal with people who um, you know, they'll just get, you know, an off the shelf, a, a Walmart, basically a Walmart wheelchair, you know, with advanced conditions. And what's exciting is, you know, being able to to work with those people and get them in the right piece or optimal piece of equipment and themselves. You can just see their faces light up. You can just see their whole demeanor just instantly change. And, and you know, I may not be there on delivery on all of these, but, you know, you know, 
know, the techs, our tech, our technicians, they come back to the office and our patients, you know, you know, you know, in the morning they're, you know, pounding coffee and, you know, they're dragging it out in the morning, but, you know, coming back that afternoon, you know, you see that pep in their step. Like, wow, man, let me tell you about the story today. I mean, that does a lot for me. Like, you know, you see these guys are, they're going out to deliver this equipment and you, and, and as a VP, you kind of know the backstory of this patient, this patient's condition, and you see the impact that it has on our techs. You see the impact that it has on our schedulers. You just see the impact that it does where we, you know, we took this because we care and we, and we, and we find these cases where, you know, you see these patients that are, you know, just, you, I mean, I just can't tell you how many times we've seen these to where they're just in the wrong piece of equipment and they're just miserable. Or what happens is they become bed bound or chair bound. They don't. They can't go anywhere because of it. Because the piece of mobility equipment they have is useless. Now I think I think that's really exciting. The other piece of the, the other excitement is from a high level, not necessarily specifically, is you know, we get patients, we get referrals all the time, and they'll say, "Oh my god, you know, I've been working with this other company for six, eight months, and I still have nothing." Six to eight months. Going back to the example I shared with you guys earlier, because you imagine being bed bound. Or chair bound, home bound for six to eight months, and that's what we run into. And in four to six weeks, we take care of that. And they're just like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you did that!" And it makes our sales team, and, and our technicians, and our schedulers, and everyone who has, you know, kind of a part in, you know, I, I guess, kind of wrapping our arms around that one particular patient. And you, know, you get that, you get that satisfaction out of it. So when you look at you think about improving lives, our hashtag, we, you see it in all of our hashtags, our logos, improving lives. Yeah, we, we help patients. But I'll tell you what, those patients help us um, just 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 knowing that, hey, we're able to help them and just how one wheelchair can change a person's life. To add on to that, Nikki, you asked me earlier, well, what's the value of, of you know, having the CRT, the range of CRT products we have? Right. And can you just, you know, did an excellent job answering that question. And it, and it made me think. It is, it is the products that we have, and it's making sure they get in the right product. It's also making sure they don't get in the wrong, the wrong piece of equipment. You know, Keith mentioned people are getting discharged from, you know, X, Y, and Z facilities, and they discharge them with, you know, anything that they can, right? Sometimes it's a 24-hour notice or less, and, hey, you got to go home. So, though, you know, the, the, those responsible for that in the hospital system um, or, or, you know, whatever facility it may be, have to get them out the door, right? They have no choice and they have to get something. So part of, you know, part of the benefit to providing CRT is, is not, is providing CRT, but it's making sure they get in the right thing and they don't end up in the wrong thing. They don't end up creating more issues, right? You know, we talk about skin breakdown all the time and, and all the issues that, you know, a piece of equipment, you know, poorly fit can do. Um, you know, it's, that's, that's just as much of value as making sure they get in the, the right piece of equipment. So. Hmm. So good. Thank you so much for sharing that. And as we wrap up, I'd love for you to summarize this episode answering this. What do you see as the key distinguishers about rehab medical that have contributed to the massive growth that you all have experienced? And Ryan, I'll let you start off. For me, it's it's twofold. Uh, there are two distinguishers, and Keith kind of elaborated to it in his um, questions uh, that he was answering. But for me, uh, it, it's our people and our approach. We always strive to never be the variable holding up the funding process. And anybody who has worked in the CRT industry for five minutes understands the challenges that go into securing funding for equipment. And our sales team has done a fantastic job of getting things off of their plate and making sure they do a good job of making, making their patients priority. Um, our, and, and above all else, we are patient advocates. We paint ourselves as part of the team and a resource to our patients, our um, providers, and our clinicians. And then the, the second distinguisher we have is the value that we can bring. Um, I genuinely take pride in the fact that everybody on our sales team takes complete ownership of the quality of life we're improving for our providers, our clinicians, and our patients. And we do this by being experts 
And we do this by not only being experts, but we're experts who care about the patients we're involved with. And Kenneth, take us home with your final thoughts on key distinguishers about rehab medical. Yeah, yeah. Ryan did a great job of, of answering that. And then Keith, you know, Keith, you know, essentially answers that with, with his questions as well. I'm going to take a slightly different approach and go a little bit higher level. You know, the one thing Keith didn't talk about um, was himself. And so you have you have our leadership team and you, and you have our executive team. And we have the pleasure of having Keith Hawkins on both of those teams. Um, and so when I think about a leadership team and what they're responsible for, you know, we know they're responsible for the vision of the company. Right. And so when you look at Keith Hawkins, our VP of sales, you know, the sales team very much is his team and he is responsible for the vision of that team. Um, and so, you know, how do we have massive growth? Well, we have to have incredible vision. Right. And so, you know, Keith being responsible for that to say that he's done a good job or a great job would be a little bit of an understatement. So, number one, Keith has incredible vision to be able to build this team uh, and the structure of our, you know, of our sales unit the way that he has. Um, you got to give him all the credit in the world. The second part of that, though, it's great to have a vision, but then there's the execution of that vision. Um, and there's such intent behind, you know, everything that he does and how he executes, you know, to put people in the right places so that we can continue to grow at this rate as we know we're growing significantly faster than the rest of the industry. So, um, you know, I, I think we have to recognize those individuals and, on the, and when it comes to sales, we have to recognize Keith as as the individual who's you know very much responsible for the growth of our sales team in general okay now let's talk with occupational therapist violet Murata. why do you choose to include crt products in your practice so they can be a vital tool um, in increasing an individual's independence in their daily life as well as decreasing caregiver burden, if that applies to the individual that I'm treating. Um, so they're really kind of a nice tool that I have in my back pocket to help somebody gain some independence. Why do you believe it's important to onboard CRT into your practice to impact patient outcomes? Well, our job as clinicians is to establish a safe and efficient path for individuals to complete their daily life skills as independently as possible. And many times CRT or complex rehab technology allows an individual to regain independence that they may have lost from immobility. And for that reason, it is so important to implement that tool. While working with a specialized CRT provider like Rehab Medical, share the highlights of benefits you've experienced. Well, they make it so easy for us as practitioners um, as far as the process of getting CRT for the individual goes, there are multiple steps the individual has to take to get insurance approval for CRT and meeting with the doctor. And Rehab Medical has always been so informative and helpful to get this process going for any of my patients or the individual I'm working with. And they basically take that information and just roll with it as us practitioners don't have a ton of time to do that. So they're really great to work with uh, in all fronts. That's awesome. And I'm curious, how have CRT products made an impact on your clinical practice? Well, it has allowed me to be a problem solver for so many individuals, which is most of the time life-changing for that individual for the better. And to be able to offer an individual a solution to mobility that will allow them to feel safe and empowered and independent is one of the best feelings as a clinician. I get to afford them the opportunity to get their life back in so many cases. And that to me is why I went into this field is to help others. So I have an immediate solution that I can offer so many people. And that's awesome. That is awesome. And Violet, we'd love for you to share a success story about a patient that benefited from CRT. I, I have a ton and I've been working with them for a couple of years, but one in particular is a patient that I was treating for a long time that had multiple sclerosis and it had left her completely debilitated. She was unable to complete anything for herself during the day, completely dependent on her family to wheel her from room to room in a manual wheelchair. And, you know, that was creating a little bit of caregiver burden. And for her, it was creating way more of a sedentary lifestyle. 
And due to not having an appropriately fitting wheelchair, this patient had musculoskeletal and postural changes, and she was starting to develop skin breakdown, soreness, and all around inability to complete anything for herself, all the way down to moving from room to room independently. And I immediately contacted Rehab Medical, and they were on it. They were present for the CRT evaluation, and they don't have to be, you know. They offered extremely helpful advice on additions to the chair to help the patient and her family even more. And the the best was the day they delivered the chair to the patient at the clinic. Their ATP, Brent, who I worked with, stayed. He explained how the chair worked to both the patient and her family, went outside with the family to show them how to get the chair or the CRT in and out of the van and how to do it all safely. And I remember it was late in the afternoon and he stayed as long as they needed him to be there. Um, And after she received that CRT, she had the biggest smile on her face when she would drive herself into the clinic with her family trailing behind her because she was able to drive herself in for the first time in like 10 years. And so we had given her a new level of independence she hadn't felt. And Rehab Medical was fantastic throughout that whole process. Thank you for joining us while we explored the many facets of how Rehab Medical improves and positively impacts the lives of mobility users and why complex rehab technology is such a key component to the well-being of a mobility user. We truly hope you enjoyed this podcast subseries.